When we finally got down to something which the individual says he really wants to do, I will say to him, you do that. And uh, forget the money. Uh, because if you say that getting the money is the most important thing, you will spend your life completely wasting your time. You'll be doing things you don't like doing in order to go on living, that is to go on doing things you don't like doing, which is stupid. Better to have a short life that is full of what you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way. Hey, come on, come on, yeah. I don't want to pay, uh -uh. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, what's up, guys? So, we're gonna do a vlog today on a, a review on Sergio's car, Chido, my little cousin. So, here he comes. There he is. So, the trick is to park it in reverse. So here's that uh, driveway test because of my shitty driveway. So we're gonna see how Sergio does. Here we go. Not too bad. If you're new to the channel, my name is David, and we're, I like doing reviews on my driveway. Um, just to show you guys, you know, benefits on cars and some car enthusiasts here in the Reno area. Uh, I'm going to introduce you guys to my cousin Chido. This is Chido. What's up guys? How you guys doing? Uh, so we're here with David today. We're doing the review on my car. Uh, it's a 2017 WRX. Um, it's uh, mostly stock. It's nothing crazy, but uh, we'll show you some of the stuff that's on it. Um, but yeah, let's get to it. All right, guys. So we're going to start with... Um, so what, what motivated you to get a WRX or, to, or Chido? I'm going to call you Chido. Let's just say Chido, right? For the record. Well, back in... Oh, this is like... 20... Oh, 2010, around there. I was in high school still. Probably around that time. And David had a silver Subaru. And that silver Subaru was like... Like the best thing ever. And then there was a new era car club back in the day. And had a big old sticker on the side. And then... From that day on, I wanted a Subaru. Unfortunately, uh, it took me a couple more years to get it, um, but it made me accomplish other things though. But um, the bad thing about this, it doesn't have the rumble anymore. Um, so e because of uh, equal length headers, right? Yeah, equal length headers now. Uh, that's the only reason why I love these cars, but I get kind of, uh, I grew into into the FA motors, the equal length. So exhaust sounds way different now. Um, but it's still it's still a boxer engine, so a four cylinder boxer engine. And for me, you know, a WRX Bug Eyes what started it for me, and that was blue. And this is the the world what is the world rally blue? Oh, yeah, world rally. So blue. it's a, it's the same color they've kept since 2002, since they brought it to the U.S. As you guys can see, I did get rid of my I I, I got rid of my Subarus, but uh, yeah, you know, at least my cousin has one though. Uh, but Subarus that's what got me started in the game. Uh, so what's up with uh, with the car shield? So what what do you uh, what kind of wheels are these? Uh, those are XXRs. They're five two seven D. The D stands for deep. I guess there's a lip on them. So that's uh, it has like a probably what do you say like a two and a half or two inch lip, I think. Uh, offset's thirty five. I was trying to get something closest as possible to to be flush, um, but uh, they didn't have it on that size. So this is an offset thirty five. So um, I have some road huggers. They're they're cheap, they're nothing crazy. They do the job though. They're pretty sticky. Road huggers. That's yeah. the actual name of the tire. Yeah, road huggers. Road huggers. So yeah. so road huggers is the actual name of the tire. I think it's a GT Ultra, or I think that's the uh, road hugger is is the brand. GT Ultra is the their line. It's kind of a cheap cheap tire. Yeah, it's from Discount Tires. It's like I guess it's really common when people stretch tires and stuff. I was stretched before on some MB battles, um, but the mb bottles were uh, uh i'm not sure if you guys seen my car though but they were sticking out a little bit the other ones were 18 by nine and a half offset 15. so the offset was kind the of offset was crazy not like, on not it. you'd have to have, like flares or something so these are a little bit stretched too but they're not ridiculous you can't really tell and, and i was trying to avoid this but i'm gonna rub it in oh, his face man. so sergio uh kissed the sidewalk the other day as you guys can see right there there's like three spots. It's not too bad. You can still sand it. So you guys know, I mean, that's still fixable. It just needs to be sanded down and uh, painted again. Yeah, and then um, 
We also, we don't have the stickers anymore, but Noir Car Club is sort of around still. There's a small sticker on the side. I'm not sure if you guys can see it on he the camera. He has a little near and tiny letters. Yeah, so it's still around. It's not, we don't do the big stickers anymore, but it's still around. Um, I, I always get shit by my little brother telling me why we don't do the big stickers anymore. The big stickers do look cool. I mean, if you have any photos, you'll probably see it. We'll post it on here. I'll show you guys. Look, I have some photos in the garage since you brought it up. So you guys can see some of the cars um, that, that had the big stickers. Let us know what you guys think. Back in the days when we were, um, you know, rolling deep with the New Era, all the cars had big New Era stickers. Every single car. These are some of the pictures. And if you look at them, every car had New Era on the side. Pretty cool stuff. Let us know what you guys think on the big New Era stickers. Should we go back to it? Should we leave it the same? I mean, I have big New Era on the window of the GTR, and I got New Era. We do email. have a big sticker too, huh? We've had one made. Yeah, I do have a couple big stickers. We had one made for the trailer. But, so uh, let us know what you guys think on the stickers. Just keep it little or go big. I think the big look cool though. I think it kind of made us stand out more. Right? Uh, maybe with I mean, maybe with like a different design or something? Yeah, but I mean... With it, same letters with something added to it. Yeah. All right, guys. So one of the things he wanted to show you as well is... Um, yeah, he also lowered it. Uh, he bought some... Uh, what kind of suspension did he buy, Sergio? 13... Coilovers uh, Z Street, something like that. I'm not. I don't know the technical term. I actually traded. Uh, I traded these for a drone. Uh, the drone was was worth a little bit more than this, but I wasn't using the drone, so I, I got that. Uh, but they're actually pretty good springs. I got them brand new in box. They are uh, 7K springs, so you have both both comfort and sportiness at the same time. Uh, What's up? <laughs> So, uh, nice. What's up? What that? Uh, 17. 17, yeah. How's it going? All right. Staying busy? Oh, yeah. Always, huh? Always. <laughs> <laughs> I like the color. Oh, yeah, that color shrinking stands out, huh? Yeah. Don't you have. I thought you had a WRX. I had it in 2009. Uh, ugly year. I think it was a narrow body. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> That's why you, you sold it, or? I sold it. Yeah. I sold it and got me a pilot. Family car, that's right. Yeah. We want to change it up yeah. and, and teach people stuff. Okay, that's good. Yeah, right? that's good. Yeah, yeah. pretty good. Bringing back the 90s. Exactly. Yeah, yeah seriously. He, he, had a, he had a CRX back in the day. Oh, did too. you? Yeah. Oh, that's cool, yeah. Early 90s, mid 90s, that's when it's really popular. Yeah, back in the day. Yeah. 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 Okay. He, he knows, he's into it. You got to get back into it, man. Huh? I, I had to, yeah. Well, actually, uh, we want to get the SDI. My Shit. wife wanted the SDI. There you go, boom, baby. Yeah. The new, uh, the new model is out, the limited edition. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to get my motorcycle next month, so... What kind of a bike? Uh, probably get a Harley. Oh, just a cruiser? Nice. Yeah, just a cruiser, yeah. Nice. nice. Really yeah. Cool. I don't want to die yet. <laughs> I don't want to die yet. <laughs> I used to ride the R1 when I was in California. Yeah, then so when I moved over here, I gave it to my friend. Just be safe, you know, you never know. With riding bikes, it's yeah. dangerous. It's a lot of places I've ever Oh, yeah. It's... For Reno, yeah. 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 Uh, a lot of people don't know how to drive around motorcycles. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a, we're not very... Picky. We just like to show, educate people. Yeah. yeah. That's what it is. A lot of people don't really know. Yeah. I've seen a 89 uh, Toyota Celica GPS. Oh, nice. And I said, uh, you know what that car can do? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't know. I just bought it. <laughs> it was cheap. I got it from my uncle. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? I used to uh, like to alter the, the little tofu cars. The Which 80... One? 86, 87 uh, Pro GTS. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. from like initial, from drive, initial yeah. D. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah those are like everyone's D? favorite car. But, yeah, initial D. Yeah, that's what kind of that was a popular car in the uh -huh. yeah. cartoon. Yeah, I had I had one. I I don't want to bring it over here from California. My my brother got it. It's mostly stuck on mine the motor, but his he uh, he changed it and he he fixed it up. Mine is just like I have the, the super rims. Oh nice. Changed the inside. Sounds about us. Stuff. Yeah, but it's, it's a weak ass car, but it's fun to drift. <laughs> uh, every, yeah. car, every car has its benefits. Yeah. And, oh, yeah. Uh, it has its story behind yeah. it, too. Drive it, ride it to uh, Bodega Bay, all that area in uh, Point Reyes so, area. Yeah. So he's Fine. a car, car guy, dude. There you go. <laughs> See? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, right. I recorded you. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. So you're going to be in the videos. Okay? All right, cool. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. Cool. I'll see you later, buddy. All right, guys. You have a good right. day. What's your name? You My name's Sergio. Sergio? Yeah, okay. good. Yeah, nice good. Good. Tony. Yeah, nice. So, so so how how low do you have it from the stock height right now? About uh, about probably an inch and a half, if that. 
Uh, right now, it looks like this because of the driveway. I was actually uh, like tripping out. I was like, David, what the heck is going on? Uh, but they're not, it's not low. It's like, it's still like a really good height to go around town and stuff. I do scrape on some things and stuff like that, but they're good coilovers for what I paid, I guess. I actually lost money on this, but <laughs> but whatever. I, I use these more than I use the drone. I use these every day, so. Exactly, and the, the and the car looks good too. So yeah. um, as far as uh, the, so that's the side of the car. So as far as the back, what kind of exhaust is this? Uh, it's a custom exhaust. Um, I got it from a buddy. Um, his name's uh, Raul. I pretty much, he, he hit me up one day. He was trying to see what kind of coilers I had, which I didn't know. Um, <laughs> so he had an exhaust in his backyard. He's like, hey, you want it? I was like, sure. So I do know it's a three inch full exhaust, straight pipe. Um, it's uh, titanium tips. They're a little what's, a, what's a straight pipe for some of the viewers that don't know? Uh, there's no, there's no two pieces put together. It's all, it's all one piece. Does that it have all a cat? Back. No cat. Yeah, no cat. Um, um, I do have the down pipe still, which is catted. Um, but it's uh, uh, that's my next purchase actually. But it's not loud. It's uh, something like, it's something like for daily. This, this is my daily, so I don't want anything crazy for my daily. But this it does the job. It it does actually help. Um, but next next thing is a uh, is a down pipe and a tune. So. So as far as the back, so pretty much everything is stock. Everything you see is what you get. So this is a base model WRX? Yeah, base model WRX. Um, so then it has a smaller wing? Smaller wing. Uh, it does, all the WRXs have the duck lip. Um, they don't have anything different in the back. Um, so then straight pipe, you can kind of see the exhaust right there. Yeah, WRXs, uh, if you have a premium, I think the only premium difference is the seats. You have a moonroof, sunroof, whatever it is. The wheels? Uh, wheels are 18s instead of 17s. And the headlights, right? And headlights that have a, uh, they have a blacked out lenses on the on the side, and I think some have LEDs too. Um, so this one doesn't come with HIDs. No HIDs. I did put HIDs on it though. I put uh, aftermarket HIDs from Bad Habits. Um, uh, they're actually good people. They take care of you. They have warranties. Nice. Right, so you hear that? What's the guy's name at uh, Bad Habits? To, uh, Gilson. He's actually a pretty good guy. So never met that guy, but shout out to Gilson. All right, guys, we're gonna do a trunk challenge. Um, no, we're not. But so no, no. I want to. I want to see a trunk challenge. You want to do the trunk challenge? I really do. So for those of you guys that don't know what a trunk challenge is, yeah, that's so this is a Salamandran thing. Uh, uh, so you, so you'll see if you can fit on the trunk. Obviously in this one you can. Um, you can fit a couple of dead bodies in here, guys. So what is a trunk challenge? What, is it, what does it mean when you do a trunk challenge? Uh, see uh, if you can fit in it, you know. Oh, okay. uh, Salamandran does this for his uh, viewers. So I guess we'll do it. Why are you taking the key with it? Okay, I don't trust you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to lock him up in his truck. But he has the key with him, guys. I also so. have the little safety release, but anyways. <laughs> so trunk challenge on the WRX. As you can see, it's a decent sized WRX. You ready? Yeah. There we go, he's gone. Yeah! <laughs> hey, the cool thing, that little handle glows in the dark. Well, of course, they all glow in the I dark. I didn't know that. So for you guys that don't know, if you ever get kidnapped, um, all these little handles glow in the dark. <laughs> so you can see it. <laughs> <laughs> So if you own a Subaru that comes with the cargo mat, um, so that came with it. Yeah, most of the, most of these do. If not, they just come with that. But most of these come with the cargo mat. Nice. And the back seats fold down, right? Yeah, they fold down. We're having a baby, so it's actually a pretty spacious car for a baby. Yeah, the back door is um, actually pretty big. And the car's dirty too, cause. Uh, Dude, I have you my... have another scuff on this side. Jesus. Yeah. Out of control. I'm out of I'm out of control. Holy it's crap. The back wheels. So. Yeah, no, this is it's pretty spacious. It's nothing crazy. Uh, the car's dirty because I have my windows open thanks to David's tree. Uh, so he, he did have a Miata for years, and um, I think maybe he got used to driving that small car, right? Oh, the Miata was fun, guys. That's that was the the car. I couldn't even fit a uh, fit a pizza in it, so that kind of sucked. <laughs> we went to Costco once, and we couldn't fit the pizza in it, so oh, well, we had to upgrade. <laughs> so let's check out the inside, Sergio. So it comes with uh, all of these WRX come with the red stitching? Uh, only the, well most of these, uh, this is the base model so it comes with the red stitching. Um, if you get the, if you get the, the premium you do get leather. Um, if you get like a limited edition one, I think uh, STI is the only one that does limited editions. They have the hyper blue and it comes with uh, stitching, with hyper blue stitching. So, uh, came with an STI shift knob. Um, I put uh, the, the Broadway, uh, Big mirror. Uh, thanks to Gilson again at Bad Habits. Pretty cool guy. Um, 
How much is that mirror? Uh, it's like 17 bucks. Not that crazy. 17 bucks is really it, And it actually doesn't, it's, I mean, I like it. It looks good, but it actually helps you guys. It's like a wide angle um, mirror. So it actually does help you. Let's see if we can get it in there a little bit. Yeah, it does actually help you. And it's like a blue tint, so it doesn't, um, it doesn't, um, it helps you at night, actually. Is this real carbon fiber? I don't know. I it, think it might be. It's not. No? No. No. But it looks pretty cool, though. Yeah. So on your steering wheel, you have your, uh, your cruise control. Yeah. Music, phones. Yeah, phone. You have these, like, I have not messed with this car much. Oh, Starlink, what is that? That looks pretty cool. Um, it has, it, once you connect your phone, um, oh, it's already. Once you connect your phone, you can check the weather and stuff. I don't think I have the app, but I don't even know how to use it, guys. So he has gauges up there. So you have your boost. Uh, it looks like it's boosting 22 pounds on these cars, 22.2. That's peak from what, from what it reads on there. I don't know if you guys can see it. I think with stock cars, they're 20 pounds. Um, 20 pounds and it peaks at 22. Uh, peaks at 24 once you get oh, it to. Oh, 24, stuff. wow. Yeah, it does, uh, it does that. And then it also, I have an intake, but no tune, which hasn't affected anything. No check engine line or anything. And um, then how many miles? Uh, 24, 24,000. Uh, close to 25. You bought this brand new? Brand new. This was your first brand new car, right? Second. Brand oh, new second car. brand new car. Yeah. Damn. Oh, that's right. He had a Corolla that he wrecked like five times. Yeah, I still have it. That he sold to his little brother. Yeah, we still have it in the family. But so. anyway, um, it doesn't move anymore. Well, it, do it does like run and it still uh, works, but it doesn't. It's just sitting at home now. Um, but um, it gives you the date. Uh, you have different settings. Uh, it does it when you're running, but it doesn't, it's not trying to do it right now, but you can do a track, like a track version, like the laps, um, you can do that. And then you have your calendar, uh, you have your, how much gas you have left or miles left, miles per gallon average. You have, um, when you move your steering wheel, it shows you if you're skidding or not, if you're losing traction, um, you have your, your boost. And then you have uh, oil temp, and then how many miles you put each time you turn on a car. Um, and then you have your boost gauge. So, so that's pretty cool. What kind of fuel mileage it tells you right there? You're getting 27.6. Uh, that's that's not right because that's well it is because we've been doing a lot of highway driving. But so on the highway 27, I'm in the city. What is the average? Uh, 18, 20. So 18, 20. So it's as good as a GTR and gas. So yeah, they're they're not bad. I mean, they are horrible in the city. Um, because they're all wheel drive too. Yeah, they're all wheel drive, so pretty bad. But the, the Subarus is the new Honda of the world. It is. It is. <laughs> it kind of is. If if you don't, I mean. But all wheel drive. Yeah, all wheel drive Honda a little bit quicker than a Honda. Well, some there's some pretty. How does this compare to a Type R actually? Uh, Type R is front wheel drive, of course. They do have, uh, what is it, tra traction control stability for the front, so you don't have torque steer. That's the cool thing about that. And then you have, uh, you have 309 horsepower to the wheel. So that's something cool. Um, but, I mean, you're still front wheel drive. So it's keeping up with uh, STIs on a straight line. Um, but once you go on a turn, I think STIs are taking the, taking the, the lead on that so nice but yeah that's the interior guys so nothing crazy um you got your throttle cup it's so manual five right speed all-wheel drive right six speed all -wheel drive. oh they're they're six speed yeah six speed all-wheel drive nice so they went from uh some of the main main differences that i've heard of so i went to six speed instead of five speed the old wrx is an o2 or a 2.0 uh this is a 2.5 now right or did it go no, back to 2.0 it's an fa 2.0 so so, so they went from 2.5 they went 2.0 2.5 Back to 2.0, and this is a chain-driven engine, correct? Chain-driven on the WRXs on this specific engine. Yeah, the STIs of this year are still EJs. So, so the STIs are still EJs. That means I have I that think, timing belt. No, I think they're they're timing chain now. Oh, yeah, they might. We're gonna have to look it up. 2011, I think, changed for all the all the two vices are oh, timing, wow. uh, timing chain. So if they're chain, that's gonna be, means it's gonna last longer. You're just gonna have to change your guides, and the chain uh, sprocket if it wears out on the teeth. Yeah, if that. But other than that, the FA motor came in a 2015 WRX. That's the first year in a WRX. But the engine was made for the BRZ and the FRS. Uh, just different. They're not boosted, of course, but these are. Nice. So, so let's uh, let's get a little bit of footage on the exhaust right now. So 
So it sounds pretty good. You can hear the turbo spooling a little bit. Uh, for the quad exhaust, um, again, uh, pretty clean sound. Sounds pretty good, Sergio. Yeah, they're not bad. I have What's the brand again on the exhaust? They're just custom. They're It's a custom exhaust. It's a custom exhaust. Yeah, so. Now we're going to check out the engine, see how it looks. Boom. So what do we got here? Um, so, so, so it looks like the WRX Subaru still has kept the top mount intercooler, They right? do, the top mount. I, I think I don't agree with it because what heat rises, so I, I don't agree with it. But I mean, I guess it's been doing the job since 2004 or actually before that, right? 2002 around there. In Japan? Yeah, Japan had uh, different vehicles than we did, so. So intercooler still uh, top mount, which again, probably not the most beneficial. Front mounts do work best from my understanding as well. Uh, like he said, heat rises. Uh, it has a plastic cover. Uh, you do have your oil filter up here, which is very handy. As you guys can see, easy to change the oil, right, Sergio? Yeah, it's easy. The only thing is it's a lowered now, so with a jack, of course, but I'll help you. But um, yeah, oil oil changes are super easy. Uh, the only thing is when you're putting your oil in, you just got to make sure you have an extra long funnel just because uh, if you miss, then there's a bunch of sensors in the front, so that's the only thing that sucks. But who misses? You know how to put it in the hole, right? Uh, sometimes. Okay. <laughs> I scored one, so it's no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> By the way, Sergio is having a baby here in about three months. Yeah. Three so months. congratulations, Sergio. Yeah. Uh, you guys probably saw the gender reveal video and that uh, cru down cruising memory lane uh, car show. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be a boy, so he's pretty excited. Yeah, Maximilian, so he's coming <laughs> pretty soon. But yeah, um, has an AEM intake. Um, cold air uh it's they're easy to install they're nothing crazy uh, yeah, yeah. so this thing has a backup camera which you didn't mention which oh yeah is pretty cool. backup camera um you know the f <laughs> the first time i got it i hit a pole i wasn't used to the Jeez. backup camera <laughs> hey uh he's, it's very common for him to hit things with his car uh, or uh like like just things uh, so again like he was saying it is a it's a six speed manual we were talking about the gauges, right? Yeah, so, there's a, so we were talking about that uh, option. There's like a track option on here. I, I don't know exactly what it does, but it triggers this other thing here as well. And when you move the steering wheel or you lose traction, it uh, it records it and it tells you how, how long you lost traction, I think. I'm not sure, so if you know, let us know, because I, I still don't know. If you guys know what that little option is for, let us know if you have a WRX. Um, and then you notice a lot of Subaru people would say, what's up? That's like a Subaru thing, like, what's up? When you see another Subaru owner. When you buy a Subaru, you do get that, right, Chilo? Yeah, you do. You get the what's up thing. I, I tend not to do it because uh, I do it sometimes and another person doesn't do it or vice versa. So I'd rather, I'd rather not. I just, if he does, I'll, I'll, I'll say what's up, but I don't I don't trigger the what's up. But uh, overall, I think we're gonna have some really good footage. We're gonna have a really good video for you guys. I mean, with, with what he knows and, and some stuff that he just kind of showed me how to do, um, it's pretty cool. Um, very excited, very excited to show you guys the, the final result on the video. Um, but yeah, the, uh, the car drives very nice. It's very quiet. Uh, when you do get on it, um, it actually pulls really good actually i think we, we didn't get that on the on this video but uh yeah, we'll do a pull in a bit it does it feels really good actually it feels really good on this car yeah i don't launch it much but i mean you can do it for the video <laughs> damn forgot what the subarus do for you they fucking put you in the seat that fucking torque so it's the same engine as the brz but i think the compression ratio is different of course well since it's this one's turbo so less compression on this one and more compression on that far rs uh, but same motor though same block and everything i believe so i think it's just i'm not quite sure if it's different heads or whatever so pretty much like you said just same engine on the on the brz's with different compression uh but yeah no this car i mean he just did a pull and fucking launch and that thing fucking put me in the seat and it bogged too <laughs> and it bogged <laughs> i think the yeah. traction control is trying to kick in yeah somehow turn it off now but yeah, yeah. That, that thing put me in the seat actually not bad yeah it
car just like yours, man. <laughs> Yo, Clarence, what do you think, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> What do you got there, Clarence, huh? Whoa, a new toy! Can I play? Huh? <laughs> Watch this. Wait a minute, wait, Clarence! Clarence! <laughs> I had to slow him down, so I just told him there was a cop. Which there was, I just don't want him to get in trouble. Yeah, you can get in trouble with these, but they, <laughs> they handle, especially when you have server suspension and stuff like that. And then we have expired plates. Well, they're not expired, we just don't have the sticker on it. So he has a sticker in here, right? Yeah, the sticker's around in the blue box. I just haven't put it on because there's a it has a black cover on it and it's just laziness, I guess. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess, but uh, that's, that's the car. So. That was pretty cool though. Um, this car handles hella good actually. Very happy with the, the way this car handles. Yeah. That's why people want two brews, especially WRXs. You don't have to do much to them to have fun. Yeah. yeah. But once you line up to like a, like a muscle car, yeah, you're, you're gonna struggle. So I took I took off the uh, seatbelt. That's a little sound you hear. And it doesn't go away. And then also it tells you when it turns on, it tells you to respect the, the law and, the, <laughs> and all this. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. I mean, so as you guys were able to see, um, we saw, well, like two, three WRXs while we were filming yeah, the footage. The video. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, they're great cars. When I say Subarus are the next Honda, I just mean they're common now here, at least in Reno. No, no disrespect to anybody. These are amazing cars, they're great cars. I think it's one of the best buys for your money, for what you get out of them. They're decent on gas, um, they're, they're sporty, they're all wheel drive, uh, they're four doors, they're just very, good cars all around so yeah. I think people know they're good cars for where, what, for where we live yeah so. so that's pretty much it though I mean uh, we, we had a good time um, making this vlog for you guys uh, we really hope you guys like it um we put you know we, we pretty much spent half of the day making the vlog for you guys um, don't forget to like and subscribe um, thank you what yeah, do you guys yeah thanks guys uh, like I said our car my car is not like the like super modded it's not like a show car or anything it's a daily driver uh, so I mean, hope, hopefully you guys, uh, you know, get encouraged by this kind of videos to do your own thing and, uh, you know, just keep doing what you guys do, you know, just what makes you unique. Anyways, I'm trying to get up the driveway right now. <laughs> <laughs> so the driveway test, coming back to, to the garage. So Chido wants to uh, tell us about his uh, his coilovers. What kind of coilovers do you have? Uh, teen coilovers. They are Z Sport. We should probably look this up because I don't even know. It's like Z Z something Street. Um, they're kind of entry level springs. They're not like crazy crazy fast. Like fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I 